morning everybody it's Monday morning um, November 12th I wanted to say February I know it's not February um, so yeah what a weekend um, I think I said already but in case I didn't we accepted an offer on the house in California so cross your fingers it all goes well it'll be if it does it'll be a really short closing and um, that's okay with us um, it was an all cash offer we couldn't really say no to so yeah and I am out now this morning running errands after making some phone calls and setting up the art room for, for some acrylic pouring which I need to do I want to do I've been meaning to do a chakra series anyway I'm gonna do one that is seven little panels and one that has all the chakra colors on one big panel um, and I'm going to probably do the big panel with the deco art pouring medium and the little ones with Liquitex pouring medium. So we're going to compare the two and see what the results and differences may or may not be. I have this feeling with the deco art one, we may not need to add any water to the paint because it's, I think, a little bit thinner consistency. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm out right now. I've got to run some errands got to take something and drop it off to be mailed. I've got to drop off a stool sample for the dog. I know, gross, right? Just and talked for like 10 minutes to the phone and it wasn't turned on. So I made it from the veterinarians to um, McCann's to mail my envelope and the pharmacy, the post office part of the pharmacy was closed. Probably because it's Veterans Day, which I forgot about. So I drove across the street to the Safeway Shopping Center. They have a postal annex and mailed it from there. Cost me an extra dollar or so, but that's okay, that's fine. Popped into Safeway, got a couple things. The special part about all that is I did it without GPS. I only used the GPS to get to the veterinarian and from there I didn't use it again. I am gonna see if I can use it to get, not use it to get home, but I have this feeling I'm already turning the wrong way. So that's probably a thing. I'm expecting a Feder Federal Express envelope. I think they're not delivering it until tomorrow, but I don't know. For all I know, it's today. So instead of going to the stationery store, I'm going to go home. And I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Hopefully I haven't just turned the right wrong way. Let's see, I'll be able to tell you in a second. Yep, I already turned the wrong way. And I can't make a U-turn. Damn it. I made it home without the GPS. And I only made one wrong turn. And I actually didn't get very lost. I turned around right away. Yay! Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning. November something. I don't know. 13th? I have no idea. I can't even check on the computer because it's not on. I think it's the 13th. Anyway, it's been a stressful few days. What with accepting an offer on that old house and which involves a very, very quick closing, like 10 days. <laughs> and our dear sweet bandit is not doing well and we're making him as comfortable as we can for as long as we can. Right now he's happy to be inside and he's downstairs laying down snoring. <laughs> like my mom says, who, my mom's a long time dog breeder and she says if he's eating, drinking and playing or at least doing one or two of the, those three things, it's not his time yet. And he's doing at least two of them, so. But he's not doing very well. We're gonna increase his pain meds. Anyway. I'm like an hour behind getting my day started and getting my work started and turning on the computer and 
yeah I need to go run errands so it's like having a sick person in the house a sick toddler so I've got a I'm gonna let him that's the computer booting up I'm gonna let him sleep and get some rest in the warm house and then I'll probably let him out to go potty and then I'll probably bring him back in right before I leave and put him in his crate so he's in a warm place instead of outside in the cold anyway all right, I'm going to try to get a little bit of things done on the computer. I've got my daily postings yet to do. Like I said, I'm like an hour or so behind in doing them, but better late than never, right? And I do have to edit the website, which hopefully I can do this afternoon or maybe this evening when my husband gets home. All right, I'll be back. I have to edit for last week, but I wanted to show you all how the uh, rainbow pores are drying. Um, there's a video coming out for these. Um, I did this big one with DecoArt pouring, pouring medium and then I did these little ones with Liquitex. So I'll give me, you my thoughts on them. Um, they haven't really changed too much as they're drying. Um, sometimes the pores will kind of move and change a lot. I did make sure that the canvases were all as level as possible. So that's probably why they didn't change too much. Um, but look at all the dripped paint in the bottom of the tray. That is going to actually peel right off. So I cannot wait to peel it off and make something with that too. That's going to be a lot of fun. This is one of the local places I wanted to check out in the new area um, if it was open and Mr. Bandit was doing okay, which he seems to for the moment. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to have him, but anyway, that's a whole other conversation. Um, anyway, Main Street, Stam Main Street Stamp and Stationery, they are open, so I'm going to go inside and check it out. It says they have, of course, scrapbooking, stationery, office supplies, stamps, paper crafting. I'm not into some of those things, but a lot of those supplies can be used for mixed media, so let's go check it out. So Main Street Stationery and Gifts. I love it. It's right up there at the top of my favorites list along with McCann's Pharmacy here in um, the Tigard area. I'll try to link their websites in the description below. Evidently I signed up for points with another scrapbooking store. Either the one in San Jose or the one that I was at in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I don't know. And they're all in the same um, customer appreciation points system thing customer rewards I don't know but she's went to go put me in the system and I was already there so <laughs> I know I haven't been in that store yet so um, anyway that's interesting um, of course I didn't really need anything but I did get some um, when I was in South Carolina my friend Vicki Brown got the last of the gilding flakes that they had at that store and I walked in and they had them I don't really need them for anything but I had to have them Sometimes that's just the case, right? So right now we're waiting for the train to go by. Because that's a thing. I'll be back. Hey, I'm back in the house. I went, ran upstairs and plopped all my bags down on my chair by my desk. And I'm here having another cup of coffee. Mr. B is over there. Where is he? There. Um, I think he just needs more pain meds. Uh, he... Um, when he doesn't get them, he can't move around. So um, after I gave him his pain meds um, it, this morning and they kicked in, uh, when I got back from the store, he ran into the house with no problems, no stumbling. He was a little wobbly, but yeah, so anyway. It's a thing, I'm gonna sit and have my coffee. Mr. B's inside out of the cold and he looks pretty happy and content, although I think he's wondering where daddy is because, you know, mommy's okay, but daddy's better. You know, just like little kids. They're okay with mom, but, you know, when's dad coming home? I don't know. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back.
morning everybody it is Wednesday morning November 14th I think um, it's 9 6 a.m. I only know that because hello sitting in the car uh, is it really not yeah I think it's really 9 6 I don't know that's what the clock in here says I think my husband updated the clock so I think that's correct um, anyway I am headed out to the title company because we are officially in escrow on the old house and I've got to go drop papers off so I'm doing that Mr. B, B otherwise known as bandit or cranky Mr. Poopy Pants dog it seems to be doing okay he's definitely getting older he's definitely slowing down a lot um, you know we just hope he makes it through the holidays to be honest um, but we're bringing him in as much as possible. It does get a bit icier here than it did where we used to live. Um, although the temperature right now is about the same as it would be on one of our colder days down there. He didn't like it down there either. So um, anyway, he's outside right now because I've got to go to the title company. I've got to run some errands. And um, yeah, I'll bring him in when I get back. I do also have to edit the uh, website and stuff like that. So. Um, thankfully, he's too old to get into too much trouble when he's in the house. So, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go and get my stuff done, and I'll be back. Hey, guys. How are you? So, yesterday, I played with some Holbein acrylic gouache. I'll insert a picture here. I used a pastel palette inspired by uh, Frenard on YouTube. I'll link her channel in the description below. She uses a pastel palette. She's a freelance illustrator. She has her own line of um, planners and things too. Very, very talented young lady. And anyway, I am really was really inspired by her use of gouache. I've tried gouache in the past unsuccessfully. Actually, Holbein, to be honest. And wasn't real happy with it because I was expecting it to be, um, I forget what I'm doing. I was expecting it to be like a watercolor gouache. It's not, it's an acrylic gouache. Um, so it's like acrylic paint. And I didn't understand at that time, you know, why, why did you need it? I should have done more research before I filmed that original video. But anyway, uh, I'm going to take back some uh, most of what I said now. And I really do like the gouache, actually. It is it got a very smooth matte finish. And unlike other kinds of acrylic paint, which can be hard to doodle and draw over without the right pen, and you all know what I'm talking about, acrylic gouache has a very flat matte finish and is a joy to doodle over. I know, because I tried it last night with a bunch of different kinds of pens. Here's the picture here, I'll insert it here somewhere. And it was great, I loved it. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull up over here and drop some mail off in the mailbox. Anyway, so I got a pastel Frenard inspired palette of colors and um, I will put the exact colors I got in the description below. I have a Dick Blick that's like 20 minutes from my house, so I just went over there. You can order them online, of course. Um, so I had fun with that. Mr. B, uh, Bandit, our dog, otherwise known as Mr. Grumpy Poopy Pants, <laughs> um, was not doing well yesterday, and we were really worried it was his time, if you know what I mean. Um, he is approximately 14. He was a rescue, so we don't know exactly how old he is. Um, but he wasn't doing very well and there was a definite change in mood and temperament and so we took him to the emergency vet last night and to my joy and surprise it's not his time he has doggy vertigo <laughs> didn't even know that was a thing so he got his first dose of Dramamine last night and was much better holy cow he still has some mobility issues he is an old dog and he does have arthritis pretty bad in his joints so he is on a pain medication and supplement routine for that um, but the Dramamine is going to help with the other stuff so hopefully we can keep him around a little while longer we're not quite ready to let go yet so anyway that's a thing <laughs> Um, and I think that's it for right now. We are going to go out to 
we are, me and you guys, we're gonna go out to run some errands. I've gotta go to Home Depot, I've gotta go to Target, uh, which I'm gonna do first. I've gotta go to Fred Meyer, I've gotta get some groceries. So let's go. Hey guys, sorry for the noise in the background, it's the washing machine. So you know, I have a dog, my daughter has a dog, dog hair and everything. It's just a thing. Plus I live in the Pacific Northwest, pine needles and sap, yeah, they're now part of my life. Anyway, I'm bringing you up here to the art room because I wanted to share with you all what I did to solve my solution for art drying space. So I, today is what? <laughs> Thursday, November something. Um, <laughs> I think I already said in the other clip. Anyway, it's Thursday. Um, and then when I posted today's thoughts and the Creative Wanderings uh, today, uh, I think it was in Creative Wanderings, I talked about how I'd really love a fancy, like, bakery rolling rack. You know, those ones you see in the bakery, they've got cookie sheets full of muffins and donuts and stuff on them, cooling. They'd, be, they'd make a really great art drying rack, by the way. So if you ever are thrifting or antiquing, or bargain shopping and you see one and you're creative and you've got the space for it and it's affordable, snatch it up because the brand new ones are really expensive. I'd love to have one, I've got the room. I don't wanna spend the money. And I don't know that I want another big, huge piece of furniture in the room, I'd like to keep the space open. So I did have an affordable solution. Let me so show you. I got another white metal um, small bookshelf from Target. I'll try to put a link in the description below. These um, acrylic pour panels were dry enough off of the um, washing machine pan. I usually have them on to move them to here. They're on cookie. All of the little ones are on cookie sheets. The big one's just sitting on top of the rack, which is fine. It can live at the end of my table. It doesn't take up tons of extra room. And this little thing, too, I can also... I'm sorry. Not in the shot. This little thing, too, has... Um, shelves on it so I can put artwork or papers or journals open on this rack and it actually is made to sit that way you can sit it the other way too but how cool is that um, I have a large cookie sheet down there on the bottom of the floor and those white things are folding dish drains I've used for years for smaller pieces of art this this is going to work really well and it will keep the table mostly clear and clean and when I'm working on things I won't have to, like when I do acrylic pouring um, once it's dry enough I can move it off the table and I won't be stuck for like a week with nothing else that I can do because I have no table space um, I did peel most of the paint chips off the inside of the uh, plastic tray and I'm going to be putting them between wax paper but how cool are they especially this big one you know, I might have to paint a canvas black and I might have to put these on top of it. I've got this canvas in the corner I've been working on. It's just kind of not going where I want. I'm thinking I just paint the whole thing black and put these on there. They're pretty cool, especially this big one. There are a few spots on the tray. Let's turn on the light. There we go. That are not dry yet. Those there. I will be letting it dry over here in the corner um, for a couple more days. Hopefully they'll dry and then I want to try to peel them off, especially that one and the little sliver next to it because isn't that the coolest thing? But also the red. So anyway, I've been doing that today and um, doing paperwork, canceling utilities at the old house, um, getting groceries. Um, I have to get some more groceries for Thanksgiving Day dinner. But I got the personal stuff for the week and I got the things that the store could possibly run out of. I don't know about up here, but in San Jose, like if you didn't go the week before and get certain things at the store, they ran out. Um, especially like um, uh, stock, if you need so stock or um, chicken or turkey stock. In San Jose, they would run sometimes carry turkey stock but frequently only had chicken and either way no matter what they had they always ran out um if you don't want to make gravy and you make uh, use uh, pre-made gravy um 
I know in San Jose they always run out. So anyway, I, I bought some things that I know I want to use um, on Sunday. I mean, next week on Thursday. Um, and I just went, I was there, so I got them. There are some things, some fresh produce. I'm going to need some herbs, some onions, celery. Um, we're going to wait until over the weekend or Monday to go get. And I just remembered I have to change my dentist appointment. I better do that next. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is... Friday, November 16th. I almost said March. Um, it's like 9.45. I only know that because I'm looking at the clock way over there on the oven. Um, anyway, I just got a box from DecoArt. Um, I'm on the DecoArt Helping Artists program, and um, which means periodically they send me a product. I can request what they sent me, uh, which I did when I got back from the... Uh, Myrtle Beach Art Retreat. So let's do an unboxing here. That's empty. <laughs> and let's see what they sent. See if I got everything I asked for. Oh, it's also empty. Okay. And I'm doing this one-handed, obviously, because I'm holding my phone. Okay, so I requested some things I was either out of or didn't have. And this is the DecoArt Media Line Antiquing Cream, which I came home with a couple of colors, but I'm really interested in trying it. I wanted to get some more colors and um, using some of the crackle mediums, which I already have. So these are the ones that I got that I didn't have. I know there's more stuff in here. I did order a couple stencils. I can see that they're at the bottom. I'm trying to get this open one-handed. So I think this is one of the things I didn't come home with. Yeah. So this is the clear pouring top coat. I did just finish those rainbow acrylic pours, the chakra inspired pours. And so I have the triple thick, which is what I usually use, which when it's dried, if you do two or three coats of that, it looks like the piece is covered in resin. I'm interested to see what this does. I, I do know um, what it does to a piece of paper because I experimented on that, which I'm going to do a video about coming up soon. Um, but yeah, I needed to get some of it before we did that video. So, Let's see, another box. I didn't order a lot. I did order some. This is a Vintage Effects wash paint, which is a newer product that I didn't have that I wanted to try to get some colors in. I didn't have a chance to try it at the retreat, so I was too busy doing other things. So that was cool. And then I did get a couple of stencils. I know I designed stencils, I know I'm aware. Um, and I already have a lot of stencils, and one of these I might have already, but honestly, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Get them out of the box first so I can show you. Okay. So the first one I got is Andy Skinner, and it looks like a Nautilus shell. It's called Fossil. I do have some other Fossil stickers, like a fish, and I didn't know he had this one. I'm pretty sure I don't have this, and so... I didn't even look before I ordered it. I ordered this Day of the Dead one, which I may already have, but I don't think so. And if I do, I have a small one, but I loved this one. And then I ordered this one, which is caught by uh, DecoArt, personally yours. This is called Urban Ink, and it has a bunch of different designs on it, including this star mandala shape, some wings, um, this sort of knot, Celtic knot inspired pattern, and a couple of words like brave and courage, no regrets. And there's a sort of a tattoo, oops, there we go, inspired like design on the top underneath the packaging. And I think it only has the one in there, although there's two. There's two pictured. I may there may actually be both of these in here. Let me let me open. Yeah, there's the two stencils in the package. 
Uh, the other one has sort of a guitar design. Sorry about the glare, it's from the lights over the kitchen island. Um, a skull, a star, that reminds me of like a Texas star. Your rules, your choice, rock and roll, chase the sunset. Another sort of, this reminds me of a tattoo design, a banner, loyalty. He's, yeah, they, they seem to me like tattoo inspired, which I find interesting. So anyway, I'm looking forward to using all of those. They just came in today's mail. Mr. Bandit is doing better, but he's still sickly. So he'll either get better or not, unfortunately. And I'll keep you all posted. That's it for right now. I'll be back. It is Saturday, November something. Um, I think it's the 17th, maybe. I don't know, hold on, I have no idea. What does the iPad say? Yeah, Saturday, November 17th. Um, we're having a late start to the day. It's uh, just after two o'clock. We spent the day at home doing laundry and the husband was working on his computer and updating files and we signed off on the sale of the San Jose house uh, last night. So hopefully things will be clear and done and over with by Tuesday. Uh, we are gonna go out though and go run a few errands. We've got some stuff we need to do. And uh, yeah, waiting for the dog to finish his business outside so I can put him in his crate. He's doing okay, but you know, he's not young anymore, so we'll see what happens. I'll be back. Hi guys, so it's been quite a week. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say, but it's been quite a week. We have the holidays coming up quickly and Anyway, I'll keep you all posted on how Bandit's doing and, you know, he is getting older and, you know, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you've all had a good one um, and you are still enjoying the vlogs. Let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see vlog-wise, art tutorial-wise. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Any relevant links will always be in the description below. And that's it for this week. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you. Later.